third time we're hosting the Gaming in Holland conference here today. I'm completely humbled by such a large turnout. Why should anybody deny adult Dutch citizens a legal framework that is aligned to the digital reality of today and the challenge of tomorrow? We have amendments, we have modifications, and I think the train has left the station. Our understanding of participating in the Dutch market would be to really become Dutch corporate citizen and Dutch lottery citizen. Uh, I believe we should have a strong focus uh, on what the lotteries are in for, uh, namely to support charity, to support sports, um, uh, and uh, to see how we can find a system and a clear and transparent regulation. I think the most important thing, the most key takeaway is that we, we really try to get over that you know, the, the industry's been around now for around 15 years or so and it's foolish to try and do things yourself. In our experience in regulated markets, the people who don't succeed are people who you think they can do everything themselves. I think in, in partnerships with certain people where you're taking your media assets or your core competencies uh, and partnering with, uh, with overseas operators that have already done it, I think you can, you can get the best of both worlds. Uh, my favourite topic is the question, should uh, media companies be gambling operators? And it's my favourite topic because it's the closest to my business model in the fact that we work with ITV and Channel 5 in the UK. And I think that, uh, that the media is only one element of uh, running a gambling company. You choose suppliers who uh, are not just right for you now, but are going to grow with you as your business grows. More and more, we hear operators say, well, I'm not so sure if we're going to apply. Uh, and, and this is utterly realistic. Look at what happened to, I think, Unibet in France. As the law has only changed every 50 years, we all need to get it right now. The internet is unforgiving, and so is the digital consumers. Uh, I have to say, I praise the, uh, the openness about the regulator. We've had a, an amazing variety of speakers. So we've had we've had people from the you know from football teams, from the official regulators, through to operators who are very experienced. So the key thing I think is there's a lot of optimism, even though we're not yet you know we're not yet over the final hurdle when it comes to legislation. It is my first time at Gaming in Holland. Um, it is very well organized. We have a broad audience, very experienced audience, senior executives of the industry, um, uh, very relevant stakeholders from politics. Um, so I believe it's a great success. I think this year it's interesting to see it seems to be a lot bigger than last year actually. Um, there seems to be more people here. There's, there's certainly uh, more people from a, a regulatory point of view here which to me means that it's been taken seriously and the fact that there's so many regulators uh, looking at it and, and, and it's moving along. It's a very good opportunity to meet everybody who's active on the Dutch gaming market and uh, it's been very well attended, I think, by the, the, form, the people who will be the future players. So um, I really enjoyed the opportunity to speak to them and to generally network here. And Amsterdam's a great city. I hope I see you all next year here, probably in the same place or a little bit bigger here in uh, Amsterdam. Thank you very much.